Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel and if you guys are new here, welcome and today I'm going to do another review and reaction of RuPaul's Drag Race Season 14 Episode 9 and you know each and every review I pick a comment from a last review and the comment that I chose today was say what you want about Miss Diabetti but but she has totally redeemed herself and showed us why she should not have been first eliminated. She definitely earned these back-to-back -back wins after being read after being read the queens and finally um, critiqued by the judges about giving crystal method i definitely got who dio was during the during this runway not to mention she's good tv okay well if you guys have a very interesting comment and you want to share your thoughts and opinions about this episode definitely leave it in the comment section below and your comment might be chosen in the next video and as well as if you want to watch the full episode as well as watch my full reaction definitely hit up my patreon which i'm going to link down in the description box below and please give this video a thumbs up if you guys have been loving my content lately and this was the latest poll right here which you guys have been killing it in these polls and honestly commenting down why you guys chose what you guys chose shows in the polls and without further ado let's get straight into this reaction and review i did something like wrong no you didn't do anything and wrong honey you did what you needed to do it is okay to feel a little cut through times yes totally okay girl go for it the safe queen's opinions does not matter I met this challenge Facts. Photo bomb some of the world's most famous men. Really embracing that. I mean, the whole point of this is to look stupid and make yourself act crazy. Okay, girl, commit, girl, commit. I cannot. I can't. Can you bend those legs behind your head? Of course she can. <laughs> Something about her is just so funny. Oh, oh, that's a good one. That was a good one. Girl, what is she giving? Oh my God, I cannot. Willow, I think Willow won. Yeah, I agree. Willow was fun. Girl, you better promote Rue. And that is not good. Hashtag team leftovers. Oh, why is she giving so much to them? That's horrible. I don't know about anybody else, but I love men. How about you? Everyone does. Okay, that was easy. First of all, let's moderate. A moderator is someone who basically. Are you kidding? <laughs> what the hell? Girl, Georgia, stop it. But a moderator also needs to know when to stop. Talking. I feel like, well, oh, that's like, true. Glasgow. My mother uh, suffers with bipolar and schizophrenia, so wow. she couldn't. I've actually done uh, a panel before. At another con. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Just be yourself. You can't let that distract you. I could just recoil and tense up in my bone. I need to know. No, Camden. We need you to excel, honey. No, it's gonna be discouraging for her because she's gonna have that in her head. Yeah, true. They might do good because they're the they're the ones that have least like in common with each other. So you're already initially wanting to know about your other people in your team. You know. Hopefully, honey. Hopefully. I don't think my team has the utmost confidence in me in this challenge. But they don't, girl. They don't. Oh, she looks like. Oh, she look good. She looks like Cotton Baby. Nah, now tell me. This is why we like Willow, though. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because mm -hmm. I'm an anarchist who believes men should be punished for their crimes against the world. But uh, okay, well, I'm gonna need a masculine man looking for another masculine man like Ross and Carson. Okay. Oh. Loving your gay child somehow makes you less masculine. Well, I'm here to tell you that it does not. There you go, Miss Nigeria. Yeah, because there might not be a later life. Took that away from me and my dad. 
Mm. He called me up and he said, I love you, but I'm so heartbroken that you held this from me. So oh my god, that's so good. Because I, I'm not gonna raise a pussy. And that stuck with me Woo. up until Woo. maybe I was dead in drag. Yes, totally. Yes. Yes. More drag queens that look like Deja. Yes. Or being a relationship because I only do anal. Okay, but. Oh my god. <laughs> Facts. Deja and Willow really, really did good in this in this um, group. They all did good, but I think Deja and Willow totally outshined in this group. She's going on and on. Cut it down. From boys to men. Yeah. Okay, basically. I knew about toxic masculinity, toxic masculinity at a very young age. It was all out of fear. And honestly, mm. he took a masculine bitch meet me outside of the parking lot. I have a couple of Okay. <laughs> Drenched in sweat. I mean, they wore little tiny outfits. Okay, girl. She's basically a bear. They seem like they need to be more entertaining. They did okay. I prefer group one. I think Bosco, you saved the group for sure. All right, I like this look, Miss Deja. Um, I wish that the hat and the hairstyle was different, but other than that, the shoulder pads and the look is cute. Ah, this is cute. Love the concept, Miss Camden. Oh, yes. Love the fit, love the concept, love the makeup, love the hair, love the mask, love everything. Oh, it's very much the Matrix. Miss Jada Pinkett is very much with the Willow twist as well. But I wish that the shoulder pads were more exaggerated. Love the patterns, love the concept, love the fit, love everything about it, Miss. And Jerry, ah, Bosco, you look good. That body looks good, Miss Bosco. I like the coat, Miss Miss Bosco. The shoulder pads is cute. I like the way you look, but I wish it was a little bit more. I wish it was something more, you know? Um, I love the concept of everything. It's very Selena-esque. I don't know if that's a shoulder pad. Does that qualify as a shoulder pad? Let me know, y'all. Love this look. It's sleek, sexy. The ponytail and the bang on you, Ova. I need to actually do that too, bitch. That's a cute look. I like this. I like the look. I like the concept. I like the hair. I like the shoulder pads. Good job, Miss Thing. Say. Jasmine Kennedy, diabetic. Ladies, you represent the tops and the bottoms of the league. Oh. Lady Camden and Jeria, you are safe. Okay. Made some decisions. Jasmine and George's bottom two. Congratulations, you're the winner of this. <gasps> Bosco? No way. I don't think she should have got this one. Willow Pill, you're safe. Yeah. Deja Sky. Safe. Yeah. This is going to be a good ass lip sync. Come on, girl. Come on, George. They're both doing really good. <laughs> Come on, girls. They're both doing really, really good. Okay, George, you better take over that stage too, baby. <laughs> yes. Oh, Come on, Miss Jasmine. Miss Jasmine is kind of turning it. George, come on, girl. Miss Jasmine is doing really good. Girl, did Miss Jasmine slay this lip sync? <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> oh, Lord Jesus! They did. Girl, it's no shame. 
they did that. But let's be honest, Rue likes Miss Georgia because that was Jasmine's lip sync slightly. Wow. Good job. Okay, you guys, so that is the end of my reaction and review of RuPaul's Drag Race season 14, episode nine. Okay, so they had to, for the maxi challenge, they had to go on and do a panel split into two groups and um, talk about men's, men topics. To me, I personally like Deja Sky's group. And I like the way Deja did it. I think Deja did the best out of everybody in on the teams. But um, that's just me. Let me know what you guys think. And um, as and as far as for me, I think that the fashion runway hands down. I think J, um, Deja Sky definitely like um, did what it was calling for. It was literally it was just saying shoulder pads. Give us shoulder pads. And when you say something simple like that to bring to to the drag race to the drag race runway, you literally know. Okay, I have to exaggerate the hell out of this. And who? Who else did it on the runway besides Deja Sky? They all looked great, by the way. And I think they all did give some versions of shoulder pads, minus um, Georges, you know? Now they had to pick the top, which to me, the top top was Deja, but Rue decided to pick Bosco to win, which she killed it in her group as well. I think they totally nailed it out of the ballpark. Um, but... <sighs> It, it was what it was. Um, I would have picked Deja, like I said, and um, and I. The reason why I think that I would have picked Deja to be the winner of this episode was because not only she did great for her for the for the um, the maxi challenge, she killed it in the fashion runway. Versus Bosco did amazing in the maxi challenge, but didn't do as good as um, Deja in the fashion runway. So collectively, if you put everything as a whole into into consideration, that just makes Deja a little bit more better than um, Bosco in this episode. But it is what it was. Um, then the bottom two, um, I agree with the bottom two. It was definitely Georges and um, Jasmine to be in the bottom two. They had to lip sync. And I will say they both did so good in the lip sync. And if I, like I said, I have to take my biasness out of everything. And let me take my liking for particular queens on the seasons and I have to really put my judging hat on. If I'm on, like if I'm judging on a ball, I'm going to be judging what I'm looking at from the edit. Um, to me, I think that because just because I'm I'm biased towards George because she's a queen that I'm rooting for, I have to take that hat off. And I honestly think that Jasmine killed it in... Um, in the lip sync and I think she did better than Georges in the lip sync not by a lot but just a little but she did better to me in the lip sync if I had to be fair and honest um just because Georges is the favorite like I said I can't just you know just not agree with that but I think that Rue decided not to eliminate any of the girls because it was kind of obvious that they both did really good and she it was kind of obvious that Jasmine did better than and Georges in the lip sync but I think she has such a really hard liking for Georgia she was like I'm not gonna get rid of my girl right now but she kept both of them which was to me I really don't like it in a competitive aspect I like it in me liking the Queens you know what I'm saying like but I don't know let me know what you guys think first let me know what you guys think about the um the main challenge the from the panel who did the best in the panel um who did the best on the fashion runway did you agree with the top two and do you agree with the bottom two and what did you think about the lip sync um lip sync performance and did you agree with no queen going home um with no queen going home you know there's going to be a double elimination coming up somewhere you know, so that's just going to be, it has to be, right? It has to be a double elimination, maybe triple, because there's been a lot of episodes that No Queen has gotten home this season. So I don't know how that, I don't know what's going to go down. But yeah, you guys, if you want to watch the full episode as well as watch my full reaction, definitely hit up my Patreon, which I'm going to link down in the description box below, as well as if you want to support me and my channel some more, um, hit up my website so you can purchase some merch. And please give this video a thumbs up because a thumbs up goes a very long way, you guys. And like always, life is your vision it is whatever you make it as long as you make it freaking fabulous until the next one you guys bye